Hey guys, what's up? It's Andre here again and I bring you another tutorial of Gatsby. Today it's how to create a sitemap. When you need to generate a sitemap for your site, you can use one of the plugins of Gatsby. Let's take a look at how to find one. So if you Google for Google plugin sitemap, we arrive inside the Gatsby's documentation. And just like with our plugins, take the npm command and install it in your site. And this is how you can add the plugin into your Gatsby config.js, but you will almost always need the extended definition of the plugin. So I'm gonna copy and paste that. And let's take a look at some of the options that the plugin gives you. Uh, first of all, it's the output file name. If you wanna stick with the default sitemap.xml, you can just omit this uh, as that's the default. Uh, we we'll probably wanna exclude the slash search from the sitemap and because I'm using here in the definition of site metadata I'm using URL not site URL I also have to stick with the resolve site URL method this will allow you to return the site URL from any result of the GraphQL query defined above so I'm gonna use only the site here and return site site metadata and URL. Now in order to have this available I have to adjust the GraphQL query. So we're looking at site, site metadata and URL. The rest of the GraphQL query can stay the same because we will definitely need to get all the paths that uh, were generated. So the old site page node path will give you all the URLs of the pages that were generated by Gatsby. In the serialize method, we can adjust how the sitemap entries will be generated. In most cases, this is what you want because every page has different parameters. We're receiving the site and all site page objects and we will render mainly for the blog posts that I have on my site. Um, I will render the URL and this is gonna be site site metadata dot url and node path the change frag and priority have their own rules if you're not familiar with this take a look at sitemap.org i will include the link to this page down there in the video description this page will tell you how to adjust uh, the values to actually match your content in my case i'm looking for change frequency to never, because the blog posts, once they are published, they will uh, not likely be changed. And the default priority is defined as 0.5. Now this is true only for the blog posts, but uh, I also have other pages here in, uh, in my site. That's the index page, about me page, and so on. The 404 page, we don't have to care about. That's uh, removed by the plugin automatically but the rest of these pages will have a different priority and different change frequency. So I'm gonna add here a little if. This if will ensure that if the node path starts with blog, it will be a blog post. So the change frequency will stay. And if that's not a blog post, the change frequency would be weekly because I may be publishing a blog per week and the priority would be slightly higher. Now let's save this and let's try to build. You see the build failed on the GraphQL query where I created one typo. So let me fix that and run it again. And the build failed yet again with the message protocol is required. The reason for that is that the site object, as you see it here, is a different object than the result of this GraphQL query. This site object comes from the plugin itself. So by default, it uses site site metadata site URL, not the URL here. So don't get confused. These are two different objects. And as a result, this is empty, which is why we get the protocol is required error. So let me fix that 
I'm gonna use here the site URL as the plugin uh, recommends and we should be good to go. Okay, now that the site is built, let's take a look if the sitemap.xml file was generated correctly. In the public folder, there should be sitemap.xml file. It's here. Let's take a look at the content. So you see that the blog posts were correctly generated with change frequency never and priority 0.5. And the other pages were generated with the change frequency weekly with priority 0.7. Uh, there are obviously many other options how you can adjust the sitemap. You can also split it into multiple sitemap files. You will find all the details here in the Gatsby.js documentation. You will find a link to this page down in the video description. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button to ensure you won't miss any of my new videos. And if you're on Twitter, make sure to follow me also on Twitter at twitter.com slash underbus. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.